subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hi hello friends welcome to manipal kitchen today i would like to share the recipe of shahi paneer masala which is a side dish for roti naan chapati puri so for that add 1 tea one inch ginger paste to the kadai add 8 to 9 garlic pods and 1 cup chopped onion 1 cup chopped tomatoes and 15 cashews and 8 almonds just give a stir and mix till combined on low flame and till all of them are just wilted and tomato has turned a little softer softer transfer all the ingredients to the cooker add 1 cup water close the lid and cook till soft now open and check if it is done now it's cooked soft look i'm showing it okay now please place a sieve and pour all the ingredients into it so now the stock of the vegetables is at the bottom so transfer the ingredients to the uh, sieved ingredients to the blender bowl close lid and grind it fine without water without adding any water now it's been grind perfect so to the pan add 2 tablespoon ghee keep it on low flame add one crushed this black elaichi then add two green elaichi cardamom and one in cinnamon four cloves and mix all the whole masala ingredients till aromatic for 1 minute on low flame add 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder 3/4 teaspoon badgi chilli or kashmiri chilli powder and fry it well so that you get good color to the dish now add the grind masala in the sense the wet masala which we grind onion tomato etc and mix till aromatic and combine till it turns colorful and thick now it's all mixed very well and to it add half teaspoon coriander powder 1/3 teaspoon cumin powder and mix it well till combined and the whole masala turns aromatic cover and cook the mix for 1 minute on low flame now just cool the pan and add yogurt to it and mix till combined on low flame because if you if you i mean fry it on high flame it will be curdled now add the stock of the veggies which we had cooked in the cooker add salt as needed and make, give a good mix till whole thing gets combined very well again cover and cook for 2 minutes on low flame now the mixture is boiling and flavors are absorbed now add 1/3 cup amul cream give a good mix vigorously till it's combined well add 200 grams amul paneer cubes give a gentle mix so that the amul amul paneer cubes are intact add half teaspoon garam masala powder and mix well till the whole mix turns aromatic and combined cover and cook the whole dish for 2 minutes on low flame now check the mixture is boiling and now you can add sliced almonds 1 teaspoon and a few saffron sticks for color and flavor now yummy shahi paneer is ready for you to relish with chapati puri roti kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for new recipes bye for now